Film crews of Reddit, who are the meanest actors slash actresses you have worked with? Jennifer Lopez. Not me, but my friend was in Jersey Girl as a child, and she said she had a fervent prima donna attitude. My sister worked with her in Made in Manhattan, and said the same thing. Very condescending and abusive of the power of fame. Edit, I didn't expect this comment to get the response that it did, so I just called up my friend to clear some things up. As it turns out, she was originally up for the child lead, Ben Affleck's character's daughter, but she lost it to a girl named Rackle. She ended up filling in for Aquil in some shots as a stand-in. I was on Hollywood Boulevard and I saw Quentin Tarantino. And he was walking the opposite direction as I, has really tall. And while we were passing I said hey Tarantino. And he stopped, turned around and said hi. I was kinda starstruck, because I didn't think he was going to stop and talk to me. After about 10 seconds I said I loved Pulp Fiction. He laughed, shook my hand, and said thank you. He was a nice guy. Most names I have worked with have been pretty nice. In most businesses, being nice helps you work again and be successful. The mean and petty actors are usually the nobodies. Positive story, Harrison Ford has a rep for being awesome. I heard a story about him helping crew carry gear up a fifth floor walk up. JLO gets my vote also. Ben Affleck is hella cool tough. So is Matt Damon. Sting is great too. Rosario Dawson seemed like the nicest and most down to earth person. Christina Hendricks is nice, but I don't think most people here at Reddit wouldn't even recognize her if they saw her in person. Arnold Schwarzenegger is surprisingly approachable. Bill Clinton is smooth as you think he is. Up close it's seriously unbelievable. John Boner is a lot smarter than he appears in public. George W. Bush is pretty much exactly like how you think he is. Lines Cool J is great super inspirational. Oh yeah. Sir Michael Caine is awesome. Rob Lowe. He caused multiple issues in our city. He got a new lady to do his wardrobe for him because the first one was a little overweight. Said he wouldn't work with obese people. And he got angry at a bar one night that our shitty Canadian TV interrupted his basketball game for an address from the president, or whatever they are called, even though he was watching a channel from North Dakota. And every day on set, just a total bag of douches, wouldn't talk to anyone, say hi, smile, nothing, just terrible. On the complete opposite spectrum, I have worked with Cillian Murphy, he was awesome as all hell. He would bum smokes off the crew, but then would always hang out with the crew, and had real casual conversations with everyone. Cool guy. Zooey Deschanel. Not mean, but insincere and a diva. Never thanked crew people for anything. Claimed she ran 5 miles every day, but then complained after 4 takes of a scene running across a room to a window. Just generally did not treat anyone, except a few other actors like real people. A friend of mine works in the industry. Will Ferrell is awesome. Sylvester Stallone is an asshole and made Dolph Lundgren cry by calling him a fucking retard in front of everyone because he was having trouble with some lines. Everyone makes fun of Stallone's chicken legs behind his back. Quentin Tarantino and Christoph Waltz are awesome guys too. I can't really remember any other horror stories he's told me. Did here. I work in camera. Here's a list of people I've worked with and my opinions about them. Tom Hardy nicest man on the planet. So long as you don't try to exploit him for your own personal gain. I could do something that's not in his contract. Numi Rapace. Fidgets a lot. Somewhat nice but has a short temper. And not a lot of patience. James Gandalfini. Really really sweet man. Although he's very method. And when a scene calls for him to be a dick don't talk to him. Jesse Eisenberg. Stuck up brat but strangely nice at the same time. Mark Ruffalo, very down to earth yet quiet individual. Andrew McCarthy, total asshole, can't say anything nice about that guy. Bill Hader, amazing 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 guy to work with, would hang out with a crew and crack jokes all day long on set. Kristen Wiig, slightly divish, not really approachable at all, but very nice when she asks you a question. Danny Pudi, incredible guy, loves to joke around. Very good actor too. Aduela Kinoyak Beige. Mr. Echo. Extremely intelligent man and very proud of his work. Loved working with that guy. He always made a point to say hi to all the crew members every day on set. Jennifer Hudson. Showed up. Did her job. Left. Didn't really interact with her at all. 
Stephen Dorff, Diva, complains a lot, won't work unless he somehow interjects what he wants in the scene, but otherwise really nice. James Woods, exactly how Family Guy portrays him. Walton Goggins, total fucking douchebag method actor, used to be his biggest fan, until I worked with him, and he has no regard for anyone who works with him. Total dick. Jason Bateman, kinda a douchebag, but cracks jokes, so you can't tell if he's serious or not. Overall, meh. Will Daffo, amazing actor, super nice guy, we talked about baseball a lot, super method. Michael C. Paul, awesome dude, would go out drinking with the crew, after set every day, even if he was done early he would wait around, and help out where he could. Lucy L.I.U., total bitch but she was nice to me. Peter Fonda, love that man. He's a grumpy old man in a fun sort of way. Brie Larson, made friends with her, hung out with her a few times after the show ended, never heard from her again. She's actually very delightful and a pleasure to work with. Very professional and knows her shit. Kane Hodder, really fucking weird dude who only has his own agenda in mind. Danielle Harris, worked with her six times now. Super awesome chick who does her job and helps where she can, but has been doing this a long time and doesn't have patience for amateur hour. Robert England, creepy as fuck, nice guy, will try to scare you as much as possible on set. Eric Roberts, probably one of my favorite actors as he's really into the whole acting thing, even if it's an indie movie. He gets it, understands what it takes to make a movie, and will work with you to get you through the day. Very smart man. Alan Ruck, still friends with him, fucking awesome dude. Corey Feldman, was nice to me, total dick to the producer. Daniel Lutz, not an actor, but famous for the Amityville horror events. Super awesome guy, can play guitar like no one I've ever met, curses, smokes, tells it like it is, really fucking nice dude. Edit, a few others that I'll add. Lena Headey, super delightful and bubbly person. Loves anything about pirates, and has a fascination about playing a role, that involves wearing an eye patch. Would hang out in the editing room all the time, to watch what we were doing. Also fun note, this was my first movie ever, and had no idea who she was. Pretty awesome to see her on GOT, when I was able to hang out, and talk to her for a few weeks on the movie. Kevin Gage, has a great big heart and a phenomenal actor, is super easy to work with, and gives his all in every performance. I hope he does more acting work, he needs to be on screen more often. Thomas Decker, very bouncy personality and very very headstrong. Does a 180 from being able to act, and then goof off right as he's done acting. Lucas Till, worked with him, when he was 16, now I feel old. Worked with him again on Fear Clinic, and he remembered me from a few years prior. Very nice kid and hope the fame doesn't go to his head. My dad has been a cop for forever, and in the city we used to live in there was a big pretty famous theater. They had a huge premiere for There's Something About Mary when it came out, and he was put in charge of the security detail. He hung out with Ben Stiller for a while, and said he was awesome, and Cameron Diaz was very sweet. He sent Ben Stiller down the street for wieners, when he asked what was good to eat at that hour of the night. I don't think he was disappointed. Scott Stapp, however, is an ass. He refused pictures and autographs at a pool party hosted by Creed. Wouldn't come out of his little band members only area, unless the band was doing photos or a promo on something. His food wasn't hot enough, too greasy, the room smelled weird, just one thing after another. Gary Busey isn't mean, but he is really nuts on set. Give him a loaded gun with blanks, and he'll wave it around at people, while stopping the entire crew, to tell uncomfortably inappropriate jokes. Michael Bay is probably the worst person I've ever worked with. Raging asshole, loves screaming slash swearing through a bullhorn, when he's not throwing it, at people just feet away, in every single department, just to see people scurry like ants. Does not care if his setups in danger or kill people. Eddie Izzard and Carrie Washington are some of the most genuinely nice professionals out there. Levardis Burton Jr. is one of the coolest lifers out there. Dude, is real people. Seen Penn seriously gets in moods and fucks with people when he's in character. I had a small part in 21 grams and was told, don't talk to Mr. Penn. Don't approach Mr. Penn. Don't look Mr. Penn in the eyes. So he proceeded to stand extremely close to me, and exhale his cigarette in my face. 
it was intimate. A few extras got booted that day because he was in character. I watched Toby Keith humiliate a bag handler outside a hotel in Nashville. The kid took the bags to the town car, then asked if there was anything else he needed. Toby said nothing. The kid stayed for a second and started to turn away. Toby yelled what I want, a tip, a fucking tip, here ya go. Then pulled out 4 or 5 one dollar bills and threw it in his general direction on the ground. A couple people walking across the street started calling him a cunt and asshole. I'm not in a film crew, but years ago I happened to run into Ella Jawood at a cafe. Couldn't believe how nice of a guy he was. Made the effort to shake my hand, invited me to sit and chat, and and asked as many questions about my life as I asked about his. Just a really engaging and friendly dude. I used to work at a capital one U. S. Small business visa call center in London, Ontario and couldn't believe when Liam Neeson called in on his own credit card account. We got to chatting, and I told him I was a big fan and I loved Taken, and Batman Begins especially. This was maybe a year after his wife died, and when I told him I was in Canada, he said he loved the country, and so did his wife, especially Montreal where she died. I was sympathetic, and he gave me advice I will never forget. He said, Chris, listen to me. If you ever hit your head, go to the hospital. Thank you Mr. Neeson. Nick Offerman and his wife Megan Mullaney were both awesome. Nick was just like Ron Swanson in real life and Megan was bubbly and all smiles. Michael Cera was kind of a dick, but he was getting swarmed. I'd be a dick too. It's got to be tough trying to please everyone at all times, especially for introverts. I was serving on the US Theodore Roosevelt, CVN 71, right after the 9th of November 2001. We were overseas and Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey came on board. She was a huge bitch, made one of my friends cry. Had them shut down the smoke pit for 4 hours, because she wouldn't smoke with the enlisted. Also, she would only talk to the officers. Stole a couple of things from her stateroom, and only stayed one day instead of the plan for, because she couldn't handle, being so isolated out to sea. Nick Lachey was very down to earth and awesome, and you could tell he was embarrassed by her behavior. She came out to perform in a Santa suit with camel toe. I mean huge camel toe. Nothing left to the imagination. She said boys, boys, boys. There were over 500 females on board, but hey, fuck us right. TL. Doctor, Jessica Simpson is a huge camel toe wielding bitch. Edit, since this has garnered some interest, she also had a show in the Hangar Bay. They did a drawing for one person, to be able to come on stage with her. Of course the females were out of the running. The boy who won, was given a stern talking to by our captain and division officers, as well as her big bodyguard, that she could touch him all she wanted, but he was not to lay a finger on her. Fast forward to the show. She rubbed all over him like a bitch in heat while she sang. Also made sure to repeat that he was not to touch her, and then just shoot him off stage. Gonna be that guy and answer the opposite, Liam Neeson is a down to earth, sweet man. My father was a cop for 30 years. Few years ago he was working hot. Film crew for a show on Showtime, Big C, I think, was filming in the city he worked in. Father was relieved of his post for a lunch break and went over to the craft table. Person behind him said that looks good. Bet you're hungry. Dad turned around and sure enough, it's QUI gone wolf killer himself. My dad offered to let Mr. Neeson cut him, to which Neeson replied nah, you've been working all night. I just sit in a trailer till they need me to read some lines. Go ahead. You deserve it. After that they chatted about movies, being a cop, etc. Dad said he was just like anyone else, and went out of his way, to make sure everyone was upbeat and happy, despite being 3am. I used to work for a film PR firm. Heard some stories from the publicists as well as met a couple. Michael Moore is a total asshole, treated one of our publicists so bad she cried. Jeremy Piven apparently is a creep too. I also remember Chris Rock wouldn't do an interview, because his writers weren't there, their flight was delayed. On the opposite side, Donalog was cool as hell, and I remember Fred Willard being super funny. Saw Jay Leno on the freeway, waved and he waved back. That was funny, because I waved, like I knew him, and then realized it was someone famous. Not a film crew, but my friend lives in the town, where they shot Man of Steel. 
she bumped into Russell Crowe in a cafe and expected him to be a dickhead, but decided whatever, let's just try it and say hi anyway. He was actually really friendly, and they had a conversation about walking trails in and around the area. She's also met Daniel Radcliffe who is supposedly a really friendly down-to-earth guy, and Samuel L. Jackson. And awesomely, he is supposedly every bit as badass as he seems. I've met Colin Mockery. He was awesome. My uncle is a boom op. One story comes to mind from when he worked on Shooter. Mark Wahlberg had a like servant slash lackey the whole time they were filming who would basically do things for money to keep Mark entertained. For example, he tied him to the front of the golf cart he used to get around the set and left him there all day. When the dude finally escaped to pee he was punished somehow, can't remember how. Another day Mark put a slice of processed cheese on the guy's head to see how fast it would melt in the sun. Also they were staying on a ranch of some sort, and he spent a bunch of time driving golf balls into a huge field of tall grass, then told the guy he'd give him a hundred bucks for every ball he brought back. Not sure if that's really mean, but definitely nuts. <laughs>